friends today i am going to uh, discuss on topic uh, blue screen of death in windows 2003 boxes and 2008 2012 boxes uh, we will be discussing why these occur how to configure uh, to collect the dump files and how to remediate the remediate, remediate the issue so this will be covered in this class uh, so basically uh, blue screen of death happens because of uh, multiple reasons one is because of uh, application compatibility and one is because of uh, uh, hardware compatibility if uh, hardware is not compatible with the operating system then you may see screen this screen and uh, if application what is installed on the operating system is not compatible then also we will get uh, bsods so we will discuss how to configure how to analyze how to fix this Let's go to my lab. So today uh, I will be using Windows Server 2016 to explain this issue and uh, to configure. So we need to configure uh, dumps dot dmp on the server so we need to go to system to go to system then we need to go to advanced system settings here we need to go to startup and recovery settings <laughs> here we'll be seeing a couple of options here so but we will be working on this this part system failure part so what is this exactly automatically restart whenever a crash is happened if we configure a memory dump then once the dump is created the server will automatically rebooted and it will come up till a next reboot or till a next crash so we have a type uh, we have a couple like different types of uh, dumps So we have almost four to five types of dumps available here. We need to configure what you, uh, what exactly we require. So basically, uh, a small memory dump is of size uh, 64 KB. So whenever you configure this, the dump file will be created in this location. So when you try to go to this location if crash is not happened so mini dump won't be available see it won't be available just if you go to this this takes you to c windows folder where whenever a crash is happened the mini dump folder will be created and uh, mini dump files with the timestamp files will be created in that particular folder and that file size will be very less it's uh, uh, almost 64 kb size so uh, even though we we can collect the information from a mini dump file but uh, that is very very much uh, less informative if we configure complete memory dump uh, uh, it, it will it, uh, like the file memory.dmp will be created in C windows uh, so this is also like uh, whenever a crash is happened that at the time only the dot memory dot dmp file be, file will be created and uh, when first crash is happened it will be created and uh, when the second crash happens that memory dump uh, memory dot dmp file will be overwritten so this is what for uh, that uh, this option is available so each memory dump file will be around uh, uh, 1 GB it will be around 1 GB and it, it even goes to 2 GB 3 GB based on the on the uh, information collected uh, so always uh, try, uh, try uh, like uh, it is recommended to select this so that we can some save some space and uh, we can select this option if uh, like if space is low on drive then uh, if kernel dump uh, file size is very 
uh, like huge uh, it will deliver deleted automatically so we have uh, different types of uh, memory dumps like small memory dump kernel memory dump uh, complete memory dump automatic memory dump and active memory dump so i will be sharing the uh, microsoft document link where you can uh, you can uh, know more more in depth about what exactly these uh, different types of dumps so that uh, uh, you can you, you can come you can learn the things so i won't be explaining it here so simply we need to click okay once you select the options once you select the options and if you click okay uh, it will ask for a reboot so you need to reboot the server so once you reboot uh, the changes will apply and uh, you may able to see uh, like whenever a crash is happened automatically dumps will be created so I will just reboot the server so even though I don't have any any dumps created on that so I I, uh, I, I collected a couple of uh, dump files as well as uh, uh, like uh, I configured my uh, like configured the tool on my on my laptop so you can see it here so now I will uh, let you know like what exactly this is the link where you have complete information about the dumps so I will be sharing this what is this exactly crash dump uh, like uh, types of dumps what dump is exactly what you will uh, you will come to know when you read this document so to to analyze these dump files uh, we need a tool so that tool is a uh, win dgb win dgb is a microsoft tool and it's a free free tool we can download it from microsoft site uh, dump files will be created with an extension called dot dmp so simply go to google and uh, type uh, win dgb download you will get this screen once you get this you just click on that uh, so you will have two options to download one is to download from SDK uh, for generally for 2008-2012 boxes you can download this and this is for 2016 and uh, Windows 7 boxes if you click this it will take you to Microsoft Store simply you need to download it from there and uh, you need to simply run the application so it will take uh, hardly five five minutes it's uh, around 40 to 50 MBF size this one so application so okay So which is this is WinDGB which I was discussing. This is WinDGB for Windows 10 box. There is much uh, there is nothing much difference between uh, 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 Windows 8 uh, uh, WinDGB and Windows 10 DB. A little bit appearance is different, but everything is same. Okay, so this is the dump file. Uh, this is a mini dump file. You can uh, you are able to see 293 MB of size. Sorry, 293 KB. So we will be analyzing this uh, this dump file, and uh, I got this screen, this same screen for the dump file. So
so in windows 10 it is called windgb preview before we uh, go for analyzing in a dump file uh, we need to configure symbols so we need to configure the symbols like we need to give the symbols path so we can get this a symbol path when you when you search on google or even you can get it from microsoft site uh, I, I need to share uh, some more information like uh, we have a site called uh, w.windgb.org which explains more about uh, like troubleshooting and uh, symbols like the uh, it, this site is having uh, like information about uh, information of symbols path and even centric symbols path a uh, couple of a uh, lot of information is available on this site simply you can go through this site i will share this too so I just copied this and pasted it here and I just save it once uh, you uh, save it uh, first time when you run the uh, when you try uh, when you run the dump analysis it will connect to that site and it will downloads the symbols it will download all symbols once symbols downloading is completed then it starts analyzing the dump file so we will uh, open the dump file here is the dump file just select and click open so now symbols are loaded once symbols are loaded you need to just click on this or you can run this, uh, run this command here so analysis is in progress now so analysis is completed so uh, it's a lot of uh, symbols and uh, uh, numbers we, we can't understand what exactly is this but uh, you need to check for module name and image name where this is the information which provides what is causing crash what is causing bsod so in that crash in the machine which uh, i i took this uh, dump file uh, is in citrix box so uh, we need to just if you uh, search in the google or you search search in the browser for what exactly is this file so you will get an information about that what is this see this is something related to citrix so this is in citrix uh, monitoring file so i just already googled and uh, took the information so so this is the screen of uh, uh, like a win dgb on a windows 2012 box so same result i, I found like rs core um, rsk core dot sys is the culprit which causing issue and when i when i search for the file i came to know that this is an uh, citrix system monitoring uh, application and it's a driver of that one so uh, the version compatibility causing the issue so once uh, we upgrade the version to next level the issue got fixed and if you are not aware exactly what you need to do then we can raise a case with Citrix so that they will give one more information and they will help you to fix it not only this a couple of uh, dumps like uh, crashes happens because of antivirus compatibility and uh, any other application compatibilities uh, that's all for this video i hope uh, this video is informative for you